noticed what was powerful and how the format has shifted to be very, very, very fast. And we have to adjust ourselves completely different play style than we were before. And I'll just go into depth a little bit of the combos and stuff that you have to take into consideration. Uh, the side deck is just kind of generic. Uh, I know we have a bad matchup against certain decks, and I'll go into the details about why I side deck these cards and you will be quick to understand why I did these things. Alright, we'll start off with the deck list. Uh, three Armageddon Knight. You'd be like, oh shit, you, I noticed there's no Mad Petition. Uh, Mad Petition is not a level 4 monster, and it's not searchable, and it's not dark. Uh, Mad Petition may find his way back in here, and but he, he does draw your card, but we need the Etcher deck capabilities turn one to actually be able to keep up uh, this sounds very very bad but the format has become really fast cosmos are extremely fast tin can is gonna end and, and friends are very powerful as well and other matchups don't really become relevant outside of cosmos and you know Pepe after they get all their support uh, good thing with this deck is uh, we do have a really good matchup against Pendulum based decks because they can continuously pop scales. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll just get back into the deck list. Standard lineup of Inzetters 3 Centipede, 1 Dragonfly, 1 Game Mantis, 1 Hopper, 1 Hornet, 3 Ladybug, and then we got 3 Maxi. Uh, Maxi is going to be super powerful next format. Instant Fusion's at 3 with Norden, and we also have Ptolemyce and Infinity. Uh, this deck is just ridiculous now, and well, it's it's become much faster the format has so maxi becomes more digging into our combos so this basically replaced our duality duality is too slow right now and unless you're playing a really 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 heavy ace trap that has no really that deck that has no really combos uh we'll dig into more draw power a lure of darkness this also helps us where we don't play duality anymore uh we got foolish and we also threw in another couple dark targets as well Foolish Burial, the Dumper, Dragonfly, or Hornet, or Ladybug, whichever we need. Two Instant Mutation. These are level 2 monsters. There are six of them. This is a plenty enough targets for to special summon Dragonfall from the deck. And Instant Fusion actually helps where we can Instant Fusion back Max C or Ladybugs, and then we can tribute it off and summon Dragonfly from the deck. You can see the shenanigans that come along with that. There is no Soul Charge in this deck, but you see two Instant Fusion. Uh, Soul Charge passes our turn, and we really don't want to leave our open to another turn of disaster. Uh, I may put it back in, but as it seems, it's too slow. One sword, two is way too inconsistent. We really don't want to draw this card. Uh, one rotor to dig for armor, get a knight so we can get our combo started. Two twin twister. This card is ridiculous, and if we ever draw into this cop a copy of this card and we hit a backer with it, it is or two backer with it, it's detrimental. We're gonna discard free cards like ladybug and hornet, even. Uh, Centipede we can bring back. It's it's all crazy out from there. Uh, three upstart for consistency purposes. We also lost, don't have still only have one dragonfly and one hornet, and we lost a mathematician. But we really don't need that card in this version. Uh, down to the traps. You can see I cut, basically cut three spells. Um, which the spots usually I play like sixteen spells. Uh, but we're gonna cut. It makes just a little better balance ratio right here with more traps because be traps have actually become better. Uh, we got one bottomless trap hole, two powerful rebirth, three solemn modes. This card is ridiculous. It's what we needed against Infernoids to help us actually be able to play, and it's also insane. Just stop pendulum summon so they can stop floating, along with a warning. The this, this combination is actually far too powerful. Uh, three storm and mirror force. This is very important to understand that we need to bounce all these untargetable monsters so that we can play Yu Gi Oh! And once we do, we go off and we win. Uh, time space trap hole. Both of these cards are only in here mostly because we can use them from the deck with our turn one Rafflesia, uh, which is very important for this deck strategy. As you can see, where I play Instant Fusion and Armageddon Knight. I may bump it up to another copy of Instant Fusion, uh, but I really don't want to draw multiples, and the extra deck is super tight. Uh, side deck, really generic. Draw my bird for Pepe, 3 MST, 
uh, one terraforming to search our two zombie world. This card is powerful. It is the nuts against magic spiders. It turns off every one of their cards, even their field spill, and they cannot because they are no longer spellcasters. This is also crazy good against decks that are rogue or upcoming like monarchs. They cannot tribute. Uh, this is also stupid against whenever uh, you play against certain decks like spell books and. What are the decks that can have machine based decks like your gear? It's also just really good against Rogue and Kaiju and stuff like that, which we don't know where they're getting, so that deck might get a lot better. Uh, two Black Horn, I mean, Grand Horn because it replaced Black Horn. This deck loves Black Horn and Phoenix Chain and stuff like that, but this card's ridiculous against Pendulum Summons and Infernoids. Uh, three Iron Wall, obvious Infernoids, and you don't like your monsters getting banished. Uh, one Soul Drain. And one more time space trap hole. Gets the better matchups. So extra deck one Norden. The other two into fusion, but we play Emerald. And usually you're not gonna draw into both copies. And you can only use one at a time anyways. One dweller, uh one Durandal. This card is ridiculous with Droll like Bird. I might bump Droll back to the three. Uh one Castell. Th one Infinity, ridiculous. Wood Tolmice and Nova. Uh one Emerald. One guy dragon for game, uh, one levier, obvious combos, Leviathan for the OTK, also going to beat over big things. Uh, we got one Volcasaurus for game, ring destruction is too good. Uh, Diamond, this is all, only really from material for Ptolemyus, if you want to go into turn one, uh, turn one, uh, oh, Oh, so Durandal, sorry. And one Reflacia. This card is one of my favorite cards out of the new set. And I can't wait for it to come. Because this card can still use traps from the deck. Even though your opponent has Twin Twister. Which is awesome. And it's unaffected by trap cards. So it's unaffected by notice. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please comment down below. And I'm going to be testing this deck more tonight. And I will click back to you and see in a comment down below in response if I have any changes. I may, may make a new video after it comes out. I will t try to scramble up these three Solar Mirror Force and three uh, Notice and Jujuan Twister so I can actually test it in real life. Uh, thanks for watching again. And no, I haven't given up on the dream. I've just been playing Cosmo because I enjoy that deck as well. And please click an ad if you can. Thanks for watching. Bye.